Hello boys and girls, my name is Larry, and today we will study Brain Bank Science Book number 20. The title of this book is Crickets. This is a cricket. Is it a spider? No. Is it a human? No. This is an insect. Let's look at this insect. The kind of insect is called a cricket. Do you know what these are called? They look like wings. And what color is this cricket? Black. Maybe a little bit of brown on the top. What are these long things? I don't know. We'll have to read the book to find out. Can you count how many legs? One, two, three, four? Only four legs? No. This insect probably has six legs. We just can't see them. There's a lot we can learn about crickets. Let's read the story to find out. Oh, wow. Is this cricket flying? No. He has no wings here. What is he doing? He is jumping with these very big legs. Maybe it's like a frog. Well, in this book, we are going to learn lots of information about crickets. We'll learn what they are. We'll learn about little cute baby crickets. We'll see where they live. We'll see what they eat. Do crickets eat children? No. What do you think a cricket eats? I don't know. Ooh, do crickets sing? La 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 la! I can't sing. And then we might go over some important words. We have a lot to learn about crickets. So what are crickets? So what are crickets? Crickets are insects. Now we learned in Unit 16 the difference between an insect and a spider. An insect has a different kind of body, and we'll learn about that later in this book. Did you know that insects are the largest animal group on the planet? They have more than 900,000 different kinds of insects. There are probably more than one million or two million, but we have not found them all. They have long antennae. Antennae are here, one, two. And we use, they use this as a sensory organ. They have an exoskeleton. This is their bones. Where are your bones? Your bones are inside. For insects, their bones are outside. We can see them. They hear with an organ on their front legs. So maybe they have an ear here. They can listen through their legs. Wow, that's pretty cool. Can you listen with your legs? I can't. And they breathe through holes along their sides. They have holes here. We can't see them, but this is where they breathe. Kind of maybe it could be like a fish or something. Most crickets have four wings. Does this mean all of them do? No, but most of them do but they almost never fly. What do crickets do? They jump. Can they fly? Yes. Do they fly? 
No, they usually jump. Now, did you know a cricket can jump up to 20 times its length? Its back legs are very strong. 20 times? Let's think about you jumping 20 times. If you are 1.5 meters tall, 20 times, that means you jump 30 meters. Can you jump 30 meters? Wow, that's really far. Crickets can jump very far, 20 times their length. Let's learn more about this interesting insect. Here we have the body. In Unit 16, we compared three very important parts that make up an insect, different than a spider. We have the head, that was one, the thorax, that was two, and the abdomen, that was three. Those three special parts are what insects are made of. They also have their legs here. You can see their back legs are very big. And they have their antennae here, one, two, their eyes. And you can see they're not smooth back legs. They have little uh, spikes or something on them. I wonder what those are used for. And we can see their wings here. They're folded over. Very interesting. Now we can see their legs. One, two, three. And then they have three on the other side. Six legs. All insects have six legs. So let's learn about baby crickets. Let's learn about baby crickets. Baby crickets are called nymphs. This is a difficult word to pronounce. Let's try it together. Nymphs, nymphs. The PH sound sounds like an F, nymphs. Now, what do these baby crickets look like? They look very similar to the adult crickets. They look like small adult crickets, almost the same. Maybe it's kind of like babies, human babies. As they get older into children, they just look like tiny adults. Now crickets molt several times as they grow. This is a difficult word. You don't molt, I don't molt, but insects do. What they do is they grow out of this skeleton and they have a new one. So if you ever see a video of an insect molting, you might see them grow out of this skeleton, like a whole new insect. It's really interesting. So then, once they come out of this nice hard shell, the new exoskeleton is soft and pale. It hardens and gets darker as it dries. So it hardens and gets darker. It changes in color. Do you think this is an old exoskeleton or a new exoskeleton? It's an old one because it is darker. It is not pale. Pale is light in color. Look down here and let's find out something about did you know. At first, nymphs do not have wings. Their wings grow later. So they are not born with wings. They grow later. Maybe it's kind of like little babies. Sometimes they're not grown with hair, but the hair grows later. Let's continue reading about crickets. Let's learn about the life cycle of a cricket. As a baby, a very, very tiny cricket, we have the egg. 
and then it grows into a nymph or baby cricket, or maybe this is kind of like a child for humans. And then finally, it returns into an adult cricket. Now, let's look. How many crickets can you find on this page? Even if it's just part of a cricket, how many do you see? One, two, three, and half of one, four. More? Five, and maybe six. That's an egg of a cricket. Now look at this one. What color is this? It's kind of see-through. We can almost see through this cricket. What color is this cricket? Black. So is this a new exoskeleton or an old exoskeleton? This one is the new one. It is pale in color. And is it soft or hard? This is soft and pale. Hard and dark, hard and dark. Soft and pale, hard and dark for all the different exoskeletons. We've learned a lot about crickets in part one. Let's turn, come back for part two and we will learn more about these amazing insects.